So if you are with Allah, don't fear anything. Now we will come to see why we should be, be proud of Islam. Some people might consider this to be prejudice. It is not prejudice. The religion of Islam is the religion of truth. It is the religion of all prophets and all messengers. Allah, Allah made this clear for us. For example, Prophet Nuh, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. He said, as Allah narrates in the Quran, وَأُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Nuh is saying, and I was commanded to be among the Muslims, to be from the Muslims. So Nuh was a Muslim, peace and blessings be upon him. Ibrahim alayhi salam was a Muslim. Some people don't know this because they don't read the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't study the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ibrahim said, as Allah narrates in the Quran, وَوَصَّى بِهَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ بَنِيهِ And Ibrahim gave the advice to his children, وَيَعْقُوبُ And Ya'qub as well. يَا بَنِيَّ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَى لَكُمُ الدِّينَ Oh my children, Allah has chosen the religion for you, which is Islam. فَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Don't die except in a state of Islam. Don't die except as Muslims. So these prophets and messengers, they were Muslims. Yusuf alayhi salam, as Allah narrates in the Quran, he said, he supplicated to Allah, تَوَفَّنِي مُسْلِمًا وَأَلْحِقْنِي بِالصَّالِحِينَ Oh Allah, when I die, let me be in a state of Islam and give me the companionship of the righteous people. And Musa, he was a Muslim. Some people don't know this fact, but all the prophets were Muslims. Musa said, Oh Allah narrates in the Quran, وَقَالَ مُوسَى يَا قَوْمِ إِن كُنْتُمْ آمَنْتُمْ بِاللَّهِ And Musa said to his people, If you believed in Allah, فَعَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلُوا So depend on him, rely on your Lord, إِن كُنْتُمْ مُسْلِمِينَ If you are truly Muslims, so Musa alayhi salam and the people who followed him, they were Muslims, they were upon Islam, the religion of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even Al-Masih, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus was a Muslim. Because he said, as Allah narrates in the Quran, فَلَمَّا أَحَسَّ عِيسَى مِنْهُمُ الْكُفْرِ قَالَ مَنْ أَنصَارِي إِلَى اللَّهِ When Isa, he felt that the people were inclined towards kufr, or the people who were at his time were inclined to kufr. He said, who are my helpers in the way of Allah? Qal al and the disciples said, Nahnu Ansar Allah. We are the helpers of you in the way of Allah. Amanna Billah. We have believed in Allah. Washhad bi anna Muslimun. Bear witness, Ya Isa. Bear witness, O Jesus, that we are Muslims. So Al Masih alayhi salam was a Muslim. And the disciples were Muslims. Allah only, Allah only sent one religion, Al Islam. And Muhammad, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrates about him, Ul inni umirtu an a'bud Allah mukhlisan lahu din. Say to the people, I was commanded to worship Allah alone, making the religion sincere for him. وَأُمِرْتُ لِي أَنْ أَكُونَ أَوَّلَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And I was commanded to be the first of the Muslims. So the religion that Allah sent is Islam. This is why we have to be proud of it. And as for those who see the Muslims today in a weak state, and being humiliated, being tortured, and taken advantage to, in different parts, in different countries in the world, it doesn't mean that Islam is humiliated. Because Muslims have turned away from the true teachings of Islam, they lost ascendancy. And this is the way Allah deals with the creation. This is one of the laws of this universe. If you uphold the religion of Allah, of Allah, Allah will give you ascendancy. And Allah will give you a lofty and high position. But if you abandon the religion of Allah, and you fall into sin, then definitely humiliation will be the only thing you will get from Allah. As Prophet Sallallahu said in the hadith, إِذَا تَبَايَعْتُمْ بِالْعِينَ If you deal with عِينَ transaction, uh, one transaction that contains riba and usury in it. إِذَا تَبَايَعْتُمْ بِالْعِينَ وَأَخَذْتُمْ أَذْنَابَ الْبَقَرِ وَرَضِيتُمْ بِالزَّرَعِ This is a figure of speech that shows that when the people start dealing with riba and they become inclined towards this life and their main concern becomes making a living, وَتَرَكْتُمُ الْجِهَادِ And you abandon jihad, jihad against one's desires, jihad against the people who oppose al-Islam and they want to annihilate the Muslims. Then Allah would cast humiliation upon you and Allah will not remove it until you return to your religion. So if we abandon our religion, we will be humiliated. If we return to Allah, Allah will give us ascendancy. And the, even if you see the Muslims in this state, this is because that they, the fact that they have turned away from the religion of Allah. Now let's see what is the future for Islam, for those who want honor and ascendancy. The Messenger ﷺ gave us beautiful glad tidings 
about the future of this religion. And Allah made clear His promise in the Quran. Allah said, Inna lanansuru rusulana walladhina amanu fi alhayat al-dunya wa yawma yaqoomu al-ashhad. Verily, we will give victory to our messengers and those who believed in this life and in the hereafter. And Allah said, وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Allah has promised those who believed from amongst you and they do righteousness, لَيَسْتَخْلِفَنَّهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ Allah will give them dominance over the earth. كَمَا اسْتَخْلَفَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ As he gave those who came before them. وَلَيُمَكِّنَنَّ لَهُمْ دِينَهُمُ الَّذِي ارْتَضَى لَهُمْ And he will establish their religion for them in this earth, the religion that he is pleased with. وَلَيُبَدِّلَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ خَوْفِهِمْ أَمْنًا And he will exchange them and give them peace and safety after fear. يَعْبُدُونَنِي لَا يُشْرِكُونَ بِشَيْئًا Providing that they worship me alone and they don't associate partners along with me. So this is a promise from Allah. We believe in that and we know for surety. If we implement Islam and we uphold it, Allah will give us ascendancy and victory. And that was the case with the generation of the companions and those who came after them as Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said, we are a people that Allah gave honor through Islam. So if we seek honor in other than in Islam, Allah will humiliate us. And this is exactly what is happening today. Now the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave glad tidings. When one day one of the companions came to him, and his name was Khabbab ibn al-Arat. That was in Mecca before Hijrah. And the Muslims were humiliated and tortured and, tortured and all that. So he came to the Prophet when he was resting in the shade of the Kaaba. He said, Oh Messenger of Allah, why don't you supplicate to Allah to help us, to give us victory, to support us? The Prophet ﷺ looked at him and he said, The generation, that, the nations that came before you, a believer used to be brought and they used to dig a hole for him in the ground and put him there and they used to cut him into two pieces with a saw and he would not abandon his religion. They used to bring combs of iron and then uh, put them in the flesh of the person and take out the flesh and the nerves from the bones and all that, the people would remain firm upon their religion. But p you people are hasty. Then the Messenger Wasallam said that one day, inshaAllah, the man will travel from, the Ye from Yemen to Hadramaut a, a long distance and he will only fear Allah and the wolf to attack his sheep. Referring to the fact that Islam will have dominance over the earth. In another beautiful hadith, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and I want you to contemplate this hadith, those who have lost hope and they are desperate from what is going to happen to Islam and Muslims, Islam will have dominance all over the earth. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith that is narrated by Muslim, Allah has folded up the earth for me so that I could see the east and the west of it. The Prophet ﷺ saw all the land that Allah created. Then the Prophet said, and the dominion of my ummah, of my nation, will reach everything I saw from the earth. This means that Islam will engulf the earth. All the earth will become Muslim. And this religion will dominate over this earth. In another beautiful hadith as well, the Prophet ﷺ said that this affair the religion of Islam will reach every land that is reached by the day and the night. So every land where there is day and night, it means the whole of the earth. Then Islam will reach it with, and Allah will not leave a dwelling place, whether it's made of fur or brick, except that he will cause Islam to enter it with honor or with humiliation. Honor that Allah will give to the Muslims and humiliation Allah will give to the disbelievers. Now, Two companions one day, everyone was mentioning his lineage. One man said, I, I'm the son of so and so and so and so. And he mentioned his lineage and his ancestors. And another one mentioned only one ancestor. So the Prophet ﷺ said, two people from the people of Musa said that. And one of them mentioned ten ancestors. So Allah said to that man, you mentioned ten people from the fire, you will go to the fire. And another man said, I'm the son of so and so, I'm the son of Al-Islam. So Allah said to him, you will enter paradise, you and your ancestors. So Al-Islam, or the Muslim, always is proud of being a Muslim, that he belongs to Al-Islam. He's happy with that, he's proud of that. We are not ashamed of being Muslims. We have the truth with us, and we want to convey it to the people. We want to show the people the beauty of Al-Islam, because people, people's sights have been deterred from Al-Islam, and the sights have been blurred to see the beauty of Al-Islam and the sweetness of Al-Iman.
So if we have Iman in our hearts, we will uphold this religion. We are proud of it and we will present it to the people and call them to this beautiful religion that will lead them to paradise. We are happy with that. We are proud of it. So inshallah, this is how we will be. And this is how Allah will give Islam ascendancy and dominance over the earth so that we can establish justice in the land and help the ones who are oppressed. I hope this episode has been beneficial for all of us. May Allah bless us all and give us ascendancy